Hello, everyone. This is the recording of week eight of our continuing education series. I cannot believe that we are on week eight already. I want to thank each and every one of you who has just joined me these eight weeks. I really appreciate you being a part of our time together, and I just feel truly blessed to be able to share with all of you in this way. So whether you have joined live or caught the recordings, or however you've been involved, thank you for being a part of this with me. We are, again, like I said, on our final week, week eight, and we are talking all about emotional health tonight. And so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Londa Flory, and I am an educator here in the Toxic Free Living Group and the Living Drop Collective Wellness Community. If you're watching this, you're probably in either one or both of those groups, but I truly love what I get to do here. I love educating people on natural wellness and essential oils and really, truly helping people feel empowered in their healthcare and knowing that you have choices and you have options. And so. I live in Brookings, South Dakota with my husband and my two children, and um, this is just a little bit of who I am. I love educating people on essential oils. The picture in the lower left is uh, me and my sister-in-law, Sarah. We attended doTERRA's annual convention last fall, which was just an incredible experience. I always love going to the convention because of just all of the knowledge that they present, all of the, the studies and um, the chemistry and the science behind the essential oils. The classes that I teach in here, they are obviously not as in-depth as we go at convention. And so I love being able to go and learn from the scientists and researchers that work with doTERRA essential oils just to continue to expand on my knowledge and learn about these amazing products. So this list here, if you are new and you haven't watched or listened to any of the other classes, this is all the topics that we have covered. All of the recordings are stored in the Toxic Free Living Group in the Units tab. So feel free to go back there and access at any time um, if you have trouble accessing those, let me know and I can definitely hook you up with the recording link. So tonight we are going to talk all about emotions and I have a couple quotes that I want to um, just read out loud. Aromatherapy for stress reduction of anxious feelings is, a very pop is very popular because our sense of smell triggers powerful emotional responses. We process so much information through our sense of smell, in particular in an area of the brain adjacent to the limbic region. This is the area of the emotional processing and memory recall. When the scent of an essential oil is inhaled, molecules enter the nasal cavities and stimulate a firing of mental responses in the limbic system of the brain. These stimulants regulate stress or calming responses such as heart rate, breathing patterns, production of hormones and blood pressure. Aromatherapy can be obtained by using it in a bath as, as direct inhalation, so just inhaling straight from the bottle. Um, hot water vapor, humidifier, fan, vent, perfume or cologne, or what I like to call it is pure fume. Um, those are those roller bottle blends that I love to make. And then one of my favorites through aromatherapy diffusers. So I know both of those are really wordy, but basically in a nutshell, the our nose is super, super powerful. When we inhale an aroma, a pure essential oil molecules are entering our nasal cavities and having an impact on the brain almost instantly, which is going to regulate um, just different feelings, stress or calming responses, um, affecting hormone production, all kinds of things. So our nose is super, super powerful. I'll get into that in the next slide a little bit. Um, but I wanted to um, just bring up this question. What do you do when going under for surgery? Most of the time, the doctors are going to have you breathe through a mask. They don't give you a pill. They don't give you a shot, but they have you breathe into a mask and they have you count backwards from 10 or whatever it is. But that just is supposed to show how powerful <laughs> our nose is our sense of smell and aroma and how it can impact us so profoundly. So this page here, I just wanted to share some fun facts, some interesting facts that I learned about um, aromatherapy and our sense of smell when I was learning about this. So one, there is a huge connection between our emotions and physical health. 
unhealthy emotions that we do not deal with, like things like unforgiveness, angerness, um, being bitter or resentful, having those feelings, we can't avoid those feelings. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. Um, but we really, when we don't deal with those, they are just going to sit in our guts and eventually they are going to impact our health in a negative way. Maybe not right away, but if you're dealing with it for a long period of time, it can man manifest itself into other issues. Maybe it's digestive issues or sleep or constant stress or anxiety. And I feel like when we talk about health and living a healthy life and improving our health. So often the things that are talked about are nutrition and exercise. I, I feel like those are the biggest two. Uh, we also talk about, um, or at least what I teach a lot about is minimizing uh, physical toxins and chemicals that go into your body. But often uh, what is neglected is emotional health and really getting rid of those, those toxic emotions that we are feeling. And so that's really my goal with this with this class is to give you tools on how to manage those negative emotions when they come up and process those and so you don't have to carry those with you throughout your life. Um, another, another thing I learned, our body releases various chemicals in response to certain emotions. So a couple of them that are pretty popular are oxytocin when something positive happens. And so we hear a lot about this um, with pregnancy when mom gives birth to her baby um, and she holds her baby that there's that release of oxytocin that just brings all of the good feelings. It's a really positive reaction. Whereas on the negative side of that, we experience a release of cortisol when our body is undergoing something stressful. And as, as a result, our body is going to respond to fear or urgency. And so obviously we can't avoid stress 100% of the time, but we really don't want our body to be releasing cortisol all the time and having our body respond in that fear or urgency mode all of the time. Again, that goes back to those first two that I talked about. It's going to negatively impact your health down the line. Our nose can dist distinguish over one trillion aromas through hundred, hundreds of different smell receptors, which is just incredible that our creator made our little nose with this much power like there's over one trillion aromas that we can distinguish through hundreds of different receptors and i just put this in here for comparison but when we talk about sight we actually only have three receptors for sight so our nose sense of aroma is so powerful we are ten thousand times more capable of smelling something versus tasting. So usually we have a choice on whether we're going to taste something or not, but with smell, you're going to smell something. <laughs> if you are breathing and you're not sick or not congested, you're going to be able to smell. You can't help it. And then the last one here is smell can really support our memory. So if you've ever came across a smell or something that instantly takes you back to a memory or a time in your life, sometimes it can bring you back to something positive or sometimes it's negative. That is just another example of how the power of smell can really impact your life. So for me, for example, I have this chapstick that I found a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know. I think I might've thrown it away now, but there was this chapstick I found when I was doing some cleaning and it took me instantly back to eighth grade, <laughs> which is crazy, but I could remember the exact moment that I was using this chapstick. I was at a baseball game with my friend on a Friday in May. And after the, after the game, we were going to go see the Lizzie McGuire movie because it was coming out that night and we were obsessed with Lizzie McGuire at the time. So um, it's just, it's just crazy to me that I could pick up that chapstick. And I was like, it just instantly took me back to those moments. So um, when I use my oils and have my oil routines, and that's actually really something that I look forward to in the future, especially uh, with raising children. I have oil routines with them um, nighttime, um, especially with my son. I do, we do the on guard uh, and then we do his diffuser. But um, I just think about the future and when he is 
a grown adult and he's not living here anymore. When I use those oils, it's gonna just take me back to those special moments and special times that we had together um, and just be a stronger memory for me. So those are just a few uh, powerful facts that I learned when I was studying up for this class. So for the rest of our time together, basically I want to just share some of the essential oil blends that can be really good for managing emotions. Um, and so I, I don't want you to think that you have to use all of these or have all of these right away, but these are just options for tools for you. Um, use what you have. If you don't have doTERRA oils in your home yet and you'd like to get some, I'll talk about that at the end. Um, but these four here on this slide, these are, if you've been with doTERRA for a while, you know that these are the original, uh, original four emotional blends. So they have more than these, but these were the first four that they created. We have balance and serenity. These two blends are really great for just calming emotions, great for thinking like stress, anxiety, sleep, um, balance. It can be great if you're feeling really angry. It just kind of grounds you and it calms you down. Then, then the elevation and citrus bliss, those are more for just uplifting the mood. Citrus bliss smells incredible. It smells like a creamsicle. It's so good. And citrus bliss and balance together in a roller bottle or in the diffuser are just amazing. I love that blend. I kind of call it the temper tamer blend because you have the balance to help calm emotions and then the citrus bliss to give you a little boost of happy. Uh, and then the elevation, that's another one for um, just supporting your mood, uplifting your mood. That one has some great oils in it. One of them being the Melissa oil, which if you have been with doTERRA for a while, you know that that oil is a, a little pricier one. So elevation is a great way to get that Melissa into your oil routine without having to purchase Melissa by itself. If you're ordering regularly and you are taking advantage of the loyalty program, I also encourage you to save up your points so that you can get Melissa that way too. So next one's here. This is the emotional aromatherapy aromatherapy line. They came out with this one. Uh, I'm not. I can't remember when, but it was after those other four. But these oils, there are six of them. They are great because they come both in the regular oil bottles you can see on the left. They come in the smaller size though. They come in five ml instead of, instead of 15. And then on the right side, you can see they come in diluted roller bottles. So you really get the best of both worlds with these. You can diffuse them, um, but then they have them all conveniently diluted for you to take on the go in your purse or backpack or wherever. So um, you can kind of tell, I'll just briefly talk about them quickly, but you can kind of tell what they are meant for based on the name. So we have Cheer. Cheer is like sunshine in a bottle. So this is another one that's really going to be supportive and uplifting to the mood. We have Passion. That is a great one to reach for when you're just kind of feeling blah and uninspired and not really motivated. Or maybe if you're having a work session and you're not feeling creative or not feeling like you have any ideas. Passion's a great one to reach for. Console is a comforting blend. So this is really good when you are experiencing loss or grief. Um, it is very comforting. I once had a friend describe it as like just being wrapped in a warm blanket. Um, and then peace, again, is going to be a peaceful blend. So great for sleep great for calming anxious feelings, those types of things. And then we have Forgive, which is the renewing blend. And I always like to like put a disclaimer on here, like using this blend is not going to cause forgiveness. Forgiveness, um, if you are working towards forgiveness, that comes from the heart. <laughs> um, but this blend, I do really love it. It's very grounding and it is really, really good just to help calm feelings of anger if you're experiencing anger. And then the last one is motivate. This is probably my favorite of the six. 
And that is because it's got peppermint and citrus and I love the citrus mint together. But this is a great one for, kind of goes along with passion a little bit when you're feeling kind of blah, you're not motivated. Great one to use before you do a workout. Great one to use before you start a work session or a cleaning session in your house, whatever it might be. And really, all of these oils are great to use just as perfumes, like I talked about in the beginning. Um, but don't feel like you have to reach for the one that you're needing. So let's say you're feeling unhappy and so you reach for cheer and you're not really liking that one at the moment. Reach for ones that that your body is drawn to. So don't get caught up with the name specifically, but they are really, really great tools to have in your home for both yourself and your kiddos. These are really great for kids. So um, that is all I had for today. I didn't edit this slide. You can see it has next week as week seven, um, but this is our final week. So again, if you wanna go back and catch any of the replays, you can see those in our Facebook group in the units tab. But just some reminders for you. Um, wholesale customers, your Yarrow Palm is 10% off this month. At the time of this recording, it's February 2020. <laughs> so um, we are at the end of February now, so you just have a few days left to take advantage of these um, monthly promotions. 100 PV order this month will get you a free on guard touch so that's a free pre-diluted blend of on guard great for supporting your immune system a 200 pb order is going to get you some bonus on guard products so you'll get that on guard touch you'll get the on guard oil blend the sanitizing spray and the foaming hand wash so if you're wanting to take advantage of any of those um, feel free to do so um, and I think if you received an, if you ordered earlier this month and you didn't quite get to the 100 mark or the 200 PV mark, I believe doTERRA has sent out a code to you to be able to make up for that order and still receive that free product. So you don't have to make it necessarily all at once, but if you've already ordered and you want to add on to get your freebie or freebies, I think you can do that. Um, but if you have trouble with that, you can let me know. And just a reminder with your wholesale account, remember that you have access to doTERRA's monthly ordering program where you get free products uh, just for ordering. So I want you to think about if you have been a part of this program for a while, think about how much free product that you have received. It's a great product or pro program to take advantage of. It's super flexible. Um, you get to control what you spend every month. So it is a really generous program that rewards you for being healthy and valuing your health. So if you don't know about the monthly ordering program, definitely talk to whoever shared doTERRA with you and they can help walk you through it. So if you are not a wholesale customer yet, if you don't have doTERRA in your home, this month is a great month to do it just because of the promotions I shared in the previous slide. So if you order 100 PV, you'll also get that um, free on guard and then 200 PV will get those on guard products as well. So what comes with the kit? Number one, you get 25% off all of your products for one year. So it's like a Costco card for doTERRA. There is no monthly orders required. Like I said, a lot of us take advantage of their loyalty customer program, but you don't have to do that. You'll get access to our VIP community Facebook page where you'll receive lots of education and support and just giveaways and fun and just a great place to ask questions in there. And then you'll also receive a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me once you get your oils. I really am am passionate about helping people feel empowered with what they purchase. So once you get started, um, we'll get together um, either in person or online and we'll make a plan for you on how to utilize what you have. And then I love to spoil my new customers with some oil goodies and accessories as well. So um, that will be included with your little starter kit. So how do you get started? These are some of the different starter kit options. 
um, as low as $105. And then I think the most expensive on here is the natural solutions for $570. So um, there's really something for everyone if you look at these kits and you don't really see what you're looking for, we can also create a custom kit for you too. So if you have any questions on that, you can let me know. But again, I wanna thank all of you for joining me for this eight weeks of continuing education. Um, I will likely do this again in the future, but um, I am currently gonna be entering into a, um, a full season of the business where I am doing a lot of intro to oil classes. So um, we'll probably take a break for now, but thank you for being a part of this and I will talk to you later.